where it's been living for uh, quite a, a number of years. So uh, here we go. So around 1932 or so, this had been converted into a house car. Just going based on licensing information I found, I don't really know the exact date, maybe it happened earlier. I do have the um, hood, it's just not on it at the moment, but this is our original. <laughs> this is the original vehicle. The interior is original from this time period. It's in rough shape. There's the uh, stove. The chimney used to come out the top. You can see the tin they put on the back wall to keep the wall from catching on fire. That is a bathtub that you can fill with water. Still has its original curtains hanging on the wall. Some other items hanging back on the wall. Some cupboards, miscellaneous items. Check out the curtains on this side just as they were, uh, gosh, 90 years ago. Look at this light switch. There's supposed to be a little light. There's a light sitting up here. There's a shade that you can pull down. This is a water tank right here. There's the readout of how much water's in it. And then here is the drain. Here's the front. It's got Flintstone brakes. <laughs> so that's gotta be fixed. And over here, here is where the stove, the camp stove sits. And there's just some miscellaneous supplies and things laying in here. Um, one thing I did take out is the table. And uh, it's got just this amazing, absolutely amazing. There's a cupboard back there. I'm curious what might be in that. An amazing old table, but I was worried about it tipping over and breaking. Look at here. That is an ironing board that comes out of the wall and we'll lay flat out here so you can do some ironing. It's got some cupboards up here. Look at the wood roof. Here's uh, I guess that's knob and tube. Yes, that's knob and, well, what you would call knob and tube electrical wiring, even though I don't see any knobs. <laughs> it's just going right through. Um, I'm gonna, that is, I, gosh, I don't know if that's bare wire there. It's just insulated where it goes through the wood or, or what. But anyway, this is the, I mean, I call it a restoration project, but I don't want to restore it since I'm not changing anything. I just want to get it running. Look at the old mirror. Windshield wiper off the front. 
you need that fire extinguisher. Look at how the window opens on that. And here's an on and off switch for turning on some light. It's got this old thermometer sitting wall. Let's open up this cupboard door and see what we got in here. Okay, cupboard's bare. Oh, it's got the other curtain right here in front. Man, that's so cool. I love the way that it shredded down at the bottom with the window. Here's a cupboard here. Let's open it up. For the most part, empty. What's this? Little handle switch of some sort. Let's look on this side. Can I get the door open? Yes, I can. Very dark in here. Here's a old wiring. Looks pretty empty. Oh, there we go. There's a knob for the electrical wiring to go through. Anyway, this is a really an absolutely incredible piece of history. Made in a time that car companies weren't making motorhomes. They hadn't really discovered they were a bit behind in that regard the americans were had discovered camping wanted to go hit the road now it's possible this was put together to travel from the east coast to the west coast during the depression or from the midwest anyway um so this is it still has its wooden spoke tires which i don't really trust but <laughs> they are pretty cool that tire is completely shredded um the front one is flat or low but it's really other than it's squared because it's been setting for years in one spot the tire doesn't really look that half that of shape definitely has got wood rot and that kind of stuff do get it running if i was ever driving down the road all that stuff would probably probably fall off anyway uh, it doesn't have a roof on it that's why i've got the tarp it just has the wood thinking it may have had a metal panel going across the top. Not really sure, but anyway, this is it.